What's up guys, this is Josh with SoutheastPitReport.com hanging out here at Ground Zero in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Hanging out with Huron from Battle Cross. Introduce yourself, man, and tell, tell my readers what you can do in the band. What's going on, man? I'm Huron from Battle Cross. I play guitar. All right, so for all of our readers who may or may not uh, know who you are, been living under a rock for like the last <laughs> five or six years, tell everybody who Battle Cross is, where you're from, uh, what you guys are about. Right on, man. Well, we're uh, basically a Detroit based uh, thrash metal, heavy metal thrash metal band. Um, and, uh, you know, we're basically our, I guess the best way to put our sound is just energetic, you know, thrash metal. We incorporate various different styles in what we do, but um, we're, uh, you know, overall our main sort of focus is just to go out there and make songs that just kick ass and straight to the point, no bullshit. And, uh, you know, our live show is very much just get up there, do our thing, kick you in the ass, and leave you wanting more. And that's just, you know, that's just kind of been our, our motto with uh, with how we approach music and, and what we do live. You know, we want to bring out the energy in the music, uh, not just, just from hearing the music, but just from the stage presence. Um, so we're very much... Uh, uh, active and what we you know when we're on stage and we just uh, we really get into it and we just have a good time up there man and you know there's uh, overall we just want people to come out to the shows man and have a good time have fun because uh, that's what we're doing man we're just having fun and, and and being who we are and and we love metal and we love doing this and we love touring and just being on stage and uh, yeah man it's just awesome dude cool man you guys have a new record out correct we do yes it's just called rise to power rise to power and that record is definitely in your face thrash metal, 100%. Thanks, brother. Uh, it came out, what, two weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks ago. It's, it's yep. not been out very long. Uh, tell us a little bit about, the, about that record and, and writing it. It's, I think it's a little bit heavier, a little bit more in your face than the previous record, in, in right my on. opinion, but uh, definitely one of my favorites. So tell our readers a little bit about this record. Thanks, man. Yeah, definitely, um, you know, for... When we started writing it, our mindset wasn't, you know, oh, we have to write this way or we're going we're gonna to approach it this way. Honestly, everything came out very natural and organic. It was yeah. just like what we were feeling at the, at the time of writing. And, you know, we didn't hold back on any sort of riffs. We didn't hold back on saying, I don't know, man, that's really maybe not us. You know, we really just sort of just started writing riffs, writing ideas and throwing at one another and trying to build off of that. And... Um, Everything just sort of flowed together really naturally, and once we had the demos done, we went in the studio to, uh, at Audio Hammer Studios down in Florida, yeah. and we recorded with Mark Lewis, who we did worked with last time with War of Will, and this time we worked one-on-one -on -one with Jason Sukoff, and he's done like Trivium and Black Dolly Murder and you know Job for a Cowboy and Death Angel and all these great bands, and um, so working with him one-on-one -on -one was it was the first time doing that, and uh, he really helped you know sort of bring the songs to life and yeah. really kind of help shape the songs as, as you know, as to what they are on the record. So it was awesome working with him. He had a lot of great ideas and, you know, it, it was just very easy to work with and very just like the writing, the process of it all was just very uh, relaxed. Um, but at the same time, you know, we're working hard and it's like, it's still a little stressful because the studio experience is yeah. always a little stressful. But um, man, this record, you know, it's personally, it's my favorite and I think it's, you know, it shows a lot of the dynamic of the band. There's a lot of various different types of songs to me that, you know, hit hard, just not, you know, kind of pounding you in the face. And then there's stuff that kind of takes on a little bit of a roller coaster ride. So, you know, like I said, we didn't really try to do anything other than just be ourselves. And, you know, that's that's what came out. All right. So the, the, the album's entitled Rise to Power. So what's what's the meaning behind behind the name? Well, you know, we kind of like to leave it open to what people interpret it as, but really it's just the overall sort of message is sort of rising out of, you know, someone experiencing dark times or someone going through a struggle and overcoming that. Yeah. And, and that's really sort of the theme that we kind of went with. And, you know, we like the songs just kind of speak for themselves and, and let sort of anyone sort of uh, relate to it in their own way. Yeah. And, um, and, and, and that's kind of how we've always been, man. We're not really sort of lyrically themed in any sort of like specific genre or style you know we just uh you know kyle basically writes from from what he's feeling and what he's sort of 
uh, commenting at the time or what he's going through or whatever. And, and to me, you know, I think the lyrics sort of speak in a general term that really anyone can sort of apply it to anything. And it's just really, like I said, overall, it's just sort of that struggle that, that people go through no matter what it is where you just, you're in dark times and it's just like, we, it just seems like it's, you know, it's only going to get worse, but you just have to sort of fight through that. And, and that was just kind of the, I think the vibe of the songs and really the vibe of the lyrics that every kind of, that kind of came out. And to me, like this album was sort of like a little darker compared yeah. to the other two, in my opinion. Um, but uh, overall, it's still sort of that, that positive, uh, aggressive, aggression c sort of coming out of the music and lyrics and, uh, and sort of that uh, epic feeling of like, you know, being able to basically speak to someone and saying, you know what, this is going to help me get through the day or yeah. get through a tough time. All right, so you guys are currently on tour with Gore and Butcher Babies. How's that yeah. been? Uh, it's awesome, man. Uh, we, you know, we've known the Butcher Babies from uh, doing Mayhem in 2013. They're a great, great, awesome band to, uh, to be on tour with and, and great people. And, and uh, Guar, we did, you know, three shows back in uh, 2013 or 14, I believe. Um, and it, we just did, like, three shows with them for, uh, like, New Year's Eve. Uh, and that was when Brocky was still in the band. And, and we, you know, we were very, had such an awesome experience yeah. with those guys at that time. And we were so bummed, you know, when we heard about Brocky. But we're just glad to be back on the road with these guys because they're great dudes. And they just put on such a great show, and Guar is just awesome, man. Yeah. I mean, is it, is it a constant it, party that everybody thinks of when you're on the road? With uh, no, it, I mean, you know, because everybody sees their stage show and, yeah. and all the antics that they do on stage, the, and they just automatically think that it's a party 24/7 right, with right. those guys. It, it really, to me, I mean, I haven't really seen it. You know, they're very chill dudes, very relaxed guys. You know, they know how to have fun, but you know, it's really not like a crazy party like you would think it is. You know, and I think it's just, just because. You're on when you're doing that on stage. I mean, you can't really. I don't know how you can just how do you be top it? Yeah, yeah, really. I mean, how do you sort of get into that mindset to keep doing that off, off the stage? I kind of feel like you have to sort of bring yourself down to a, a quiet, normal level to get up there and do something as crazy as that, you know. But uh, yeah, they're awesome dudes, and it's it's a great, just great tour to be on right now. Cool, man. All right, so we got a, a fun question for you. Okay. Uh, since you guys are on tour with Gore and Butcher Babies. And things like that. All right, so let's say that Battlecross, Gwar, Butcher Babies all got thrown on an island like Survivor, okay? <laughs> Who's going to win the million dollars? What what oh, band is going to win the million dollars and why? Oh, shit. Well, I, I you know, now is it like when we're on this island, do we have like, is it just us on this island, or is it like gear? Is there like no? I mean, it's, it's straight just like, up like just the band members just thrown on this island. Yeah, you got Battlecross, got their tribe over uh -huh. here. You got Gwar's, got their tribe over here. You got Butcher Babies, they've got All their right. tribe. That's it. You've got to learn to survive. I, I, I gonna I'm going to say that we're going to we're going to win it because, and I'm going to say this because, you know, Gwar's on a bus. Butcher Babies are on their bandwagon. We're in a van. We're slumming it right now. So I think we're used to being slumming, slumming it out right now. Although I'm sure the guys have, of course, you know, the, I'm sure they've slummed it before. But we're, we're slumming it to an extent. So I think that we're used to, the, you know, living in that dirty sort of lifestyle. <laughs> being, you know, no showers and all that kind of thing. So right, well, we're, 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 we're used to. Said that. You could totally tell them that. We're going to speak to them next. <laughs> we're going to tell them. <laughs> we're, 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 I think we're, we're going to rough it up a little bit better than they are. So, right, yeah, cool. I think Battlecross has got this one. Gotcha. All right, so we got Battlecross for the Survivor Challenge. They, they claim that they're going to win. Real quick, we're going to wrap this up. So we're, you're currently on tour with Gore and Butcher Babies. What yeah. else you got planned out for the rest of the year in the beginning of 2016? Uh, after this, well, after this tour, um, we have like two weeks off, and then we go back out with Gwar, and this time Born of Osiris is going on the tour with us. So... That's going to be Guar and Born of Osiris, and we're doing that for basically two months, October through November. And uh, other than that, there's really no nothing else planned. In, in that tour, though, we are doing Not Fest in California, so uh, that will be killer. So we can't, I'm looking forward to doing that, and, uh, you know, there will definitely be more shows coming up. We just don't have anything to announce yet. Cool, man. Anything else you want to plug in? Uh, definitely check out our new album, Rise to Power, on Metal Blade Records. You can get it at metalblade.com slash battlecross. And uh, check out any of your local record stores, all that. Ask for it if they don't have it. We got a new video out called Absence. Check that out. And uh, just keep up with us on this tour with Guar and Butcher Babies and also Guar and Born of Osiris. And we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff we're posting all the time. So just follow us on there and come out to the show. 
Cool, man. Well, this is Josh with southeastpitreport.com, and we're here at Ground Zero in Spartanburg, South Carolina. We'll catch you guys next time.